here, but let's talk about something a lot more recent, and that's Greenville County's Swamp Rabbit Trail. It has drawn development since the day it opened. 7 News' Dan Bickford takes a look at one of the businesses that was attracted to TR. It's set up right along the trail. It's a special zip trip edition of Carolina Blends and Brews. Yeah, this is one of our all-time best seasonal sellers. This is our cherry white ale using Montmorency, Michigan cherries. As you can see, it's a nice red color, highly carbonated wheat beer. Great for the summertime. Across the street from the Swamp Rabbit Trail, you will find the Swamp Rabbit Brewery, a stop for people who are and aren't using the trail. It's been a big, uh, big heart line for us and the town. Uh, when we opened, there weren't a lot of businesses here in town, and now, as you can see, there are tons of local businesses. It's a family business. Opened by Ben and Teresa Pearson in 2014, the general manager is their daughter, Caitlin. The head brewer is her husband, Andrew. Really getting to do what you love every day is probably the most rewarding thing, and then getting to do it with family. And if you go chasing rabbits, and you know this is our cold room. We keep this about 35 degrees, nice cold beer. Um, so we have five tanks and one keg wall here. They have a rotating menu of seven to eight beers that run through this room. They've brewed between 30 and 40 different beers since they opened. So this is our new Czech Pilsner. This is going to be the lightest beer that we have. We try and stay relatively classic with our styles, but we like to venture out every once in a while and do like our raspberry and cherry beer. They also have a new beer coming out, Honey Bunny. And that's actually going to be a, a Pilsner based beer with a little bit of honey malt. And then we add some coriander and orange peel to give it a little bit of that tropical zest. And what better to accompany a cold brew than a fresh tomato? We also have a really cool garden outside that we grow tomatoes and peppers and stuff like that. And we just pick them and let the people that come in take whatever they want home. Through the years, they've also been involved in numerous fundraisers and donating beer to such events as the M, a golf tournament to raise money for mesothelioma research. This rabbit is helping some other animals, too. We scoop the grain out here, and that actually goes to a local cattle farmer. It's become a traveler's rest landmark, just a hop off the Swamp Rabbit Trail. Enjoy responsibly. That was Dan Bigford reporting. To find out more about Swamp Rabbit Brewery and the M Golf Tournament, just look for the Carolina Blends and Brews section on WSPA.com. You'll find it under the News tab.